This this used to be the home of the Dominican Dominican Order, but they had another convent in Paris, in the in the Saint Jacques Street, and so they took up the, the nickname Jacobin, Jacobin, and so everywhere you go, Dominican and Jacobin is the same. Um, we're going to go in and, and settle down for a bit, sit down a little, but I just wanted to wanted you to have a look at the outside of the church. Are you going to add the uh, in the tour? No? Okay. Um, what kind of words do you have in mind when you look at this church? Does it look like other churches you know? Not ornate, very sober. Yes, very tall windows so you can guess what style this is. What are the main differences you, you've already uh, pointed out? It's not ornate. You don't have any sculptures. You don't have any, you know, stone lace. All those. Uh, yeah. Does it really look like a church from the outside? they had to go see the population and preach and so on. And again, you're lucky to see this as it is today. If the church has been used by the military, this part as well. So the refectory was used as a training hall for the horses. Um, I, I forgot all the different uses, but they, they really um, yeah, damaged the thing. And they also sort of dismantled the cloister. So this is what it looked like. 1871. So you don't have any gallery left. Um, and so we're lucky to have this today because in Toulouse and in the area, when they started renovating the whole uh, thing, they found bits and pieces, they found
for this chapel himself to have somewhere he could rest, he could be buried, and to have somewhere where the other brothers and his brothers, when he was bishop, could be buried. And under the sanctuary, under the choir, is an ossuary. We've got different uh, people buried. Uh, what's interesting here is, of course, painting, paintings. This, when the military were there, was used as an infirmary for the horses. So you have to imagine the paintings going from all the way down to the bottom of the wall, but they suffered from this, this animal presence. They, they suffered from the, the sweating and all that. Yeah. So on the vault, I'm not going to detail everything, but on the vault you've got the Apocalypse according to St. John's book. Um, and on the walls is uh, the life of this St. Anthony, St. Antonin. He was one of those martyrs really early in the 5th century. And what I like about this thing is, is how he survived so many episodes, so many threats. So one of them, for instance, the one in the center here, you can recognize like a round stone, a grinding, grinding stone maybe. And uh, this episode uh, tells us that he was thrown into the Garonne with this stone attached to the leg, and this floated. So he survived. <laughs> so that's one of these episodes I like. Uh, in another one, he was thrown from the top of the Capitol into marmites of gold and silver, built of gold and silver, and he was rescued by a neighbor. 